as Christ's personal representatives beg you for his sake to lay hold of the divine favor now offered you and be reconciled to God. One of the ways we deal with it, we say we are talking to the converted. Amen. Hallelujah. Because we are reconciled. Amen. Hallelujah. We recognize him as sovereign Lord. Amen. We enjoy his favor and his grace. Amen. Hallelujah. Could you just give the Lord a wave offering and bless his name. Hallelujah. As we worship the Lord. As we glorify the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your name O my soul. Bless the Lord O my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord O my soul and forget not all his benefits hallelujah the lord is good and his mercy endures forever blessed be the name of the lord 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 hallelujah we glorify the Lord. We glorify the Lord. We bless His holy name. We bless His holy name. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, everyone. Let's praise. I worship the Lord this morning. Amen, amen. Good morning to the congregation and on Zoom. That's one of the reasons why we need more time. Amen. Praise the Lord. We need more time. Because sometimes we just need to allow God. Amen. Hallelujah. We walk by. Not by. Hallelujah. A sovereign Lord. He has the right to appear at any time. In the understanding of the apostolic authority, there are places because they recognize me as such. When I reach, if I want to preach, I can preach because that is what the order is all about. And if that is a structure within human understanding, what about God? He must be allowed to come in. Amen. And we restructured the plan. <laughs> As to the promise I have in you. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. I like it. I like it. Why? Because uh, this begins a period of devotionals for this house. Hallelujah, we've been trying to explain it a little bit. And I know that it's a little bit different. Amen. But we have from Monday, two weeks of praying and fasting, lasting from Monday to Friday. The first week, the first week is directed to the leaders of the house, all who are leaders or consider themselves leaders. You are invited or asked to participate. Hallelujah. In this week, we are not emphasizing fasting because I didn't get the word that we should fast for two weeks, although we titled it prayer and fast. I am fasting. Amen. Hallelujah. Leaders must lead. So the first week is devotionals with leaders in mind. And uh, we want to have some services where we gather for an hour or so on Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday at 7 p.m. Different ones will share. 
Hallelujah. Whatever the Lord would lay upon their hearts to say to us. The second week, all of us are expected to participate. That's the last week of the month, from Monday to Friday, with three days of prayer and fasting, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And if you cannot fast uh, within those three-day period, we ask you to do some kind of partial fast for that last week. In that last week, we will be in the house of God on Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Hallelujah. And while we can't touch people, we are hoping to do some kind of anointing on the last Friday. Hallelujah. Every day between 6 and 7, I will post something up in terms of uh, on the chat as to what are my thinkings or what we would like to see us do. For this week, Monday, we want to pray for the elder. And we will come back to that. I want to say a few things about that. Tuesday, we raise the board in our prayer. Wednesday, we pray for laborers. Thursday, we pray for the anointing, the manifestation of the gifts to and for the body in the house. Friday, we cry out outreach. We use the simple word souls, but outreach, both within us, without, outside of us, and internationally. Uh, you would notice that since I'm here, every first time of prayer is devoted to praying for the elder or the pastor, as we call him. We call them. Amen? Because as goes the head, according to human logic, so goes the body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know that there are many people who are having difficulties understanding me. Hallelujah. Amen. I feel as if but like a three-year-old with vision. You know, um, when a child is young, before it is tainted by the skepticisms of what we call reality, the child will say, I see a man in the house. And you say, it had nobody in the house but we. What kind of stupidity are you talking? Because their vision is not yet clouded by doubt. Hallelujah. I feel as a person that has seen something and nobody seems to understand. Can't seem to explain it to people. Because when I try, they get upset. So you need to pray for me. Amen. Anybody here? Hallelujah. I'm tired of the foolishness that is called church in the church. Can't understand why we don't understand why we should love one another, <laughs> regardless of differences. I don't understand why differences separates us. So you need to pray for me. You see, I have seen a great danger ahead. Hallelujah. I'm excited about it. And so, the call upon my life discovered it at 17. I applied to go to Bible school when I was 17. And because it was not the proper time, my mother uh, had, I had to change my mind because my mother got sick and I had to care for her. But I think it was a plan of the God because it wasn't my time to go in 1977. Hallelujah. God has called me to raise a people. A people that know their God. Hallelujah. People that don't need the pastor to pray for them for healing because they know how to pray and walk in healing. Hallelujah. So I'm a little bit different. I don't know if this is what you were looking for. Hallelujah. Amen. So pray for me. Amen. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. I love when the Spirit of the Lord moves like he did this morning. It, it stirs me in a way that I feel like a lion. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody in the house? Hallelujah. Could you stand in the presence of God? Forget about those around you for a while. Forget about those who are wrong you for a while. Ya na makoro ro ba ye ke toro ro ba yo. Ya ta na ma ye ke toro ro ba ya ta ra ba koro ro ba ye ke toro ro ba yo. Ya ta na ma ye toro ro ba koro ro ba ye ke ta ra ra ba yo. Hallelujah. Ye ke toro ba ya ta na na ma yo. Oh God. Hallelujah. Those of you who are on Zoom online, don't do anything in this moment. Hallelujah. Take off your stove if you made the mistake of trying to cook and be with us. Amen. Take it off. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And lift your hands in your house. Lift it as high as you can lift it in your house. And begin to give God praise from your spirit. Amen. Ah, God. We want to do your will. We want your will. Let your will be done. Let your will be done. Let your will be done. As in heaven, so on earth, let your will be done. Let your will be done. We want your will, O oh God. Yeke tara ba yo toro kayata nama yeke to. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. I don't know what he is doing, but he is doing something. And we want him to have his way. Have your way, Lord. 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 Araba yeke toro ro ba yeke tararaba yo. Oh God. Oh God. Hallelujah. Don't be too quick to come out of the presence of the Lord. Don't let anything distract you. Not even me. Yeke ta kotoro ba yeke tararaba yo. Oh, hallelujah, 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 Lord, 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 I will say, wait, I say, on the Lord. Anybody? Yitoro kayata namayu. Your presence, presence. I want.
Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord has been speaking to some of us. Hallelujah. He's talking to you about some adjustments, some changes, some things you need to put aside, some things you need to throw away. Amen. Hallelujah. Do not do not worry. Do not be afraid to do that which God has declared unto you to do. Hallelujah. He will never lead you wrong nor lead you astray. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. He will cause, hallelujah, your name to be great. Hallelujah. As you walk in the path that he has designed for you. Hallelujah. Remember, no weapon formed against us can prosper. Amen. Hallelujah. Because Jesus is in us. Hallelujah. Brethren, I want you to recognize that you're the most powerful thing on earth. God is in you. Elohim has devised a plan to infuse us with himself. That's why we must embrace what we have because what we have is superior. Make no apologies for that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Of course, you know, the psychologist will say we just wasted an hour and 15 minutes. They will say they need to do all of that. Hallelujah. Amen. Like Micah they can't appreciate the joy of the Lord hmm. hallelujah you know, who I'm, you know Micah David's wife hallelujah what she saw is him exposing himself <laughs> hallelujah she did not see the glory of God upon him hallelujah and as I've been showing in some of the teachings I've been doing this week on another platform uh, hallelujah Glory be to the name of the Lord. David went into his wilderness and when he came out, hallelujah, he revolutionized Israel. When we talk about the glories of the kingdom of Israel, we do not refer to Solomon. Yet Solomon had the most money, the brightest things, the biggest edifice. We always refer to David. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, because when he recognized who he was in that wilderness, hallelujah, and he walked out of that wilderness into the battlefield, hallelujah. And when this little 17 year old boy killed Goliath, the other 40,000 men that was running a few hours before say, wait a minute, if God can do that for David, <laughs> but he could do it for me too. Hallelujah. And they took inspiration on this young man. Hallelujah. And they began to become mighty men. Hallelujah. I, I, I love it. I was listening to another preacher and he was making mention of that. That when uh, Saul, Saul looked for those who look strong. Hallelujah. When trouble came, they ran. Hallelujah. David. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. He manifested the power of God. And when people came by David and came to David, their lives were transformed. Because you see, we've got to embrace and recognize who we are. Hallelujah. There is no devil in hell. You know. People like to glorify some of these things, you know, because it makes them look a little bit, you know, powerful. Hallelujah. Not recognizing that. Uh, hallelujah. If you study the life of Paul, he will tell you the gods of this world are not gods. There is only one God. Amen. Hallelujah. Jehovah Elohim. We call him Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ is the name that the world hates. Hallelujah. And so we like to use the word Jesus Christ because they hate it. Powerful. Amen. Because we are not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation can't preach you don't have time to preach so let's come and give time is gone hallelujah
we come and give father bless your people as they give in jesus name of rebellion rebuke it in Jesus name break up every fallow ground and cause the seeds of righteousness to grow in the midst of this house and in the midst of your people hallelujah 